This is the first ever photo of the black hole taken by the Event Horizon Telescope on 2019, 10th of April. If you're interested to know how this photo is taken and also how to interpret this photo, go and check out the video from Veritasium. I'll put the link in the description below. The basic idea of black hole is simply that it is so massive that even the light cannot escape from it. Interestingly, with the knowledge of escape velocity you learned in the previous video, you can actually find out the expression of a star, how massive and how much radius it needs to meet in order to reach the requirement to be the black hole. In the next question, you can also apply the equation and try to find out what radius the Earth and the Sun has to meet in order to become a black hole. Pause the video and try it yourself. A few moments later. All right, so the equation that we derived earlier was simply root 2gm over r for the escape velocity. And since the velocity is now c, so that means uh, we can plug in this value to it so that this, even with the speed of light, it cannot really escape. So we can say c equals to root 2gm over r and therefore uh, this is pretty much a relationship that you can find um, If you really want to express r as a main term then you can rearrange it and get c squared equals to actually r equals to 2gm over c squared The r radius you find just now is actually called the Schwarzschild radius which is the name after a scientist obviously Notice that the way that we just derived was not really proper because when we try to derive it properly in physics we actually have to include the idea of relativity so if you're interested you can go and check out the work from the internet so we are just lucky uh, or coincidentally to get the result uh, to be the same using this simple formula of escape velocity so if you want to find the Schwarzschild radius of the Earth and the Sun, that means the theoretical radius you have to reach in order to get these to be black hole, then you just have to use the formula and plug in to the equation. And therefore, you'll be able to find out the R. So eventually, you'll be able to find the answer for each of them. For the Sun, will be 3 times 10 to the power of 3 meter, uh, which is 3 km. And 3 km is actually very small. And for the Earth, it's even smaller. It's going to be 9 mm. So imagine you try to squeeze the Earth, the whole Earth, into a tiny ball that is 9 mm only. Then the Earth could be a black hole. If you're interested, you can go and check out the list on Wikipedia. And here is a list showing you the Schwarzschild radius for each of these objects, including human or even a Big Mac. So for human, you need to reach 10 to the power of negative 25 meter in order to become a black hole. So yeah, not really possible to be honest. So you may be wondering, uh, what's the importance of understanding this equation for us to learn about science since we can't really change the size of the Earth or the Sun anyway. So why do we bother? The idea is that uh, in the future, you may be studying astronomy, then this equation will come in hand because uh, using this, we can know whether or not a star or a planet can develop into a black hole. So hopefully we can have a chance to talk about that in the future. I'll see you again in the next video. Bye.